Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Hancho back at you again with another video. And so today's story takes us back to a situation that we covered back in October of last year. So a bunch of you will more than likely remember this story. If not though, this story surrounds a Nottingham man known as Kenny Crystal, Kesengu Mabiala, more known by his rap alias Trapspot. You see, Kenny had been from an area called Top Valley in Nottingham, and this area is said to have been in a feud with an area called Radford, which is unusual to see because they're roughly five miles away from each other. In America, we tend to see quite literally one or two streets separate two warring areas, and even here in the UK, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm unsure of the origins of the beef, but according to an article published in November of 2020, both Radford and Top Valley were put down on a list of Nottingham's most deprived areas, and if it's anything to go off from what I know, when we look at other regions in the UK, in fact the whole world, when there's deprived areas, it normally means there's a big drugs trade going on so it could potentially be over drugs but again that's just a speculation and we don't currently know why this feud is ongoing there isn't any official documented incidents between the two areas either only this situation we're going to go over today but an incident did go down a month after this story takes place which seen a top valley man charged with the attempted murder of another man who was stabbed in radford of course that situation hasn't gone to court yet so we don't know if it's connected to this ongoing feud but this story goes down on the 12th of october 2020 and on that drizzly afternoon at around 1 10 pm kenny had headed into nottingham city center whilst on the phone with his bank it isn't clear why he was heading into town but as he walked down milton street towards the victoria center he was spotted by two rival gang members who had been at a bus stop devane paris and mazin abdelomin both from Radford would later come out to say that they noticed Kenny due to his face being on YouTube. You see, of course, he had his own video out called Runners and had also been in some videos with close friends Young T and Bugsy, who are also from the same area. But of course, Kenny had been minding his own business on that day and was more than likely in his own world talking to his bank on the phone when out of nowhere, the reality of the situation was soon about to snap into place. So this whole incident, believe it or not, takes place within 34 seconds, so just bear that one in mind when we go over what happened. Now, according to witnesses at the scene, they would go on to say that the three would eventually become aware of each other, and after a quick verbal altercation, Kenny runs at the pair. As this is happening, both reach for their knives, which are described as either machete, rambo, or hunting type weapons. It should be noted that Devane would admit just Kenny running at him was enough for him to try and draw for his weapon, but ultimately he never took it out, whilst Mazin would go on to say that Kenny had challenged him to pull for his weapon, and so he did. A struggle then breaks out, and initially both Kenny and Mazin fall to the ground, where Kenny goes on to be stabbed. When they're both back on their feet, Kenny then makes a run for it, and it was then he was stabbed once again by Mazin. Now, remember Devane hadn't pulled his knife out in this situation, but it was said that he had been physically involved in the struggle, helping Mazin attack Kenny, but we don't know to what extent because reports don't make it clear. Kenny would go on to be stabbed twice, once in the chest, which went through his heart, believe it or not, and once in the center of his abdomen. After the attack, he would stagger over to the entrance of the Victoria Center and would ask the general public to call him an ambulance, but as he was doing this, 
he would go on to collapse and unfortunately die at the scene. A post-mortem examination found that it was the 8-inch stab wound through his heart that caused him to go on to die. After the attack, both Mazin and Devane would go on to flee the scene and after getting into multiple taxis but them denying him entry after they had just witnessed what happened Devane would get onto a bus but was quickly hunted down by police only a couple of minutes later where he went on to be arrested for murder and possession of a bladed article in a public place Mazin would escape the area after he caught a tram but it dropped his phone in the street during the attack and when police found the phone Mazin's mother had rang it and police quickly identified him. He would go on to be arrested a day later for murder and possession of a bladed article in a public place. Both would go on to admit the bladed article charge but both denied murder and in a trial that's recently wrapped up Mazin would see himself found guilty for murder whilst Devane would go on to be found not guilty of murder and not guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter. Mazin would be handed a life sentence with a minimum term of 20 years and Devane would see himself get handed a two year conditional discharge for the weapon offence and possession with intent to supply cannabis from a separate incident. And so a fairly quick story surrounding this whole situation, but we do have to remember that this story quite literally happened within 34 seconds. That's two lives that have been taken away for an incident that went down for 34 seconds. Of course, Kenny would sadly go on to lose his life. And for Mazin as well, a minimum of 20 years of his life are now going to be gone. And that's all down to, again, a 34 second incident that went down in Nottingham in October last year. But I do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to Kenny because at the end of the day, he did want to try and make a career from music. And of course, him being good friends with Young T and Bugsy, that could have definitely been a potential had he still been with us right now. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Abe Hancho and I'm out.